Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another best gaming monitor, which is the LG 34 um 69 g We will see how it stacks up against similar, and newer gaming displays in terms of image quality, performance, design, and value for the price. If you want more information, and updated pricing on the product mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. Moving to the image quality. The LG 34 UM 69G monitor depends on an IPS board with 2560 by 1080 goal, a 250 nit top splendor, a 1000 to 1 static difference proportion, and vacillated 8 cycle shading profundity for 16.7 million hues. Presently, while there are genuine 8 digit shading monitors at this value run, most IPS models use vacillating to accomplish 8 cycle shading. The contrast between evident 8 cycle and 6 digit FRC shading isn't recognizable, so it's not something worth agonizing over. The pinnacle brilliance of 250 nits may appear to be low on paper, however, the monitor is more than splendid enough under ordinary survey conditions. You'll no doubt need to lessen the splendor down from the most extreme. Further, this monitor is manufacturing plant calibrated, and it has the standard 99% sRGB shading array, which brings about accurate, reliable, and clear hues fit in any event, for passage level shading basic work. For proficient evaluation precision however, you should appropriately calibrate the monitor. The IPS board innovation additionally incorporates wide 178 degrees survey edges, which guarantee perfect picture quality with no movements in shading, splendor, or differentiation when taking a gander at the screen off hub. For the most part, the 2560 by 1080 screen goal isn't ideal for the 34 inches measured screen of the monitor. The pixel thickness adds up to approximately 81 pixels for each inch implying that, the image will be fairly pixelated, and since all that occupies more room, there will be less screen land accessible. For gaming, watching motion pictures, and other regular exercises, this pixel thickness is satisfactory for most clients. In case you're sitting somewhat further from the screen, you won't notice that the image is pixel. Truth be told, at around 4 feet or 125 centimeters, it's difficult to recognize the individual pixels on this monitor. You can likewise apply some enemy of associating in computer games to compensate for low goal, while the monitor's ultra-wide configuration eases the issue with the absence of screen space. The 21 to 9 perspective proportion furnishes you with additional even work space, and a more extensive field of view in computer games. You can think about this 27 inches 1080 pixel monitor with 33% of additional width. Computer games that help ultra wide goals will feel much more vivid, yet those that don't will have dark bars along the edges of the screen. On the other hand, you can decide to loosen up or harvest or zoom the image to fill the screen. We should discuss the performance. There are a few preferences to the lower screen goal also. 2560 by 1080 isn't close to as requesting as the higher 3440 by 1440 ultra wide goal, permitting you to appreciate smooth 75 FPS interactivity even with a section level, or mid range gaming designs card. This monitor additionally bolsters AMD Free Sync with a 4075 Hz variable refresh rate extend. However long your FPS rate is somewhere in the range of 40, and 75 the monitor will change its refresh rate progressively, accordingly totally killing screen tearing, and faltering without presenting observable info slack. For free sync, you'll need a viable illustrations card by AMD or NVIDIA. Despite the fact that the monitor isn't insured as G-Sync compatible by NVIDIA, free sync works with no issues, with NVIDIA's cards over DisplayPort. For AMD cards, FreeSync works over both HDMI and DisplayPort. This monitor input slack adds up to just 10 milliseconds which, makes for subtle postponement at 75Hz. While 75Hz gives a slight lift moving lucidity instead of 60Hz, it's not even close to the smoothness of 144Hz. Along these lines, for a more responsive relentless gaming experience, we suggest getting a gaming monitor with in any event 100Hz though, this monitor is appropriate for all the more graphically situated games. IPS board monitors additionally have superb pixel reaction time, and this monitor is no exemption. With 5 milliseconds GTG pixel change time, there's no obvious dragging along quick moving articles. There are 4 reaction time overdrive modes off, slow, normal, and fast. We suggest utilizing the normal mode, as fast presents a lot of reverse ghosting, and no different points of interest. 
All things considered, you get rich smooth execution with no ghosting, or idleness issues while the enormous 34 inches screen, and dynamic hues give a vivid review understanding. A higher goal and a quicker refresh rate would absolutely help, however it would likewise expand the monitor's cost, just as the CPU or GPU prerequisites for the ideal gaming execution. Ultimately, note that the monitor has a flash-free backdrop illumination, and an integrated low blue light channel. These two innovations help decrease eye strain, when utilizing the monitor for delayed timeframes. As it's the situation with all IPS monitors, there is a few IPS shine noticeable, however its force changes across various units of the monitor, in everything except extraordinary cases, it's totally passable. Moving to the features. Notwithstanding free sync, this likewise bolsters the 1 millisecond motion blur reduction innovation, which can through backdrop illumination strobing lessen apparent ghosting behind quick moving articles. This innovation must be actuated, when free sync is impaired, and the monitor's refresh rate is set to 75 Hz. Further, while dynamic, 1 millisecond MBR presents screen flash, and diminishes the monitor's most extreme brilliance. Along these lines, you should just empower it in relentless games allowed that, you lean toward it over free sync. Different highlights incorporate black stabilizer which, improves perceivability of items in shadows in computer games and crosshair. The OSD menu of the monitor is easy to use, and you can undoubtedly explore through it, by utilizing the joystick set underneath the base bezel of the monitor, or by means of the on-screen control work area application. You'll additionally locate the standard picture modification devices, for example, contrast, brilliance, shading temperature, and information source choice just as the further developed instruments, for example, six pivot tint or immersion and four gamma modes. At long last, there are a few pre-calibrated picture presets accessible such FPS, RTS, reader mode, and so on. How about we talk design and connectivity? The plan of the monitor is powerful and incorporates ultra-dainty bezels, and even stature change up to 120 mm. You can likewise tilt the screen by 5 degrees or 20 degrees, or visa mount it through the 100 by 100 mm example. Remember that the monitor has a level screen rather than a bended one, which is generally the situation with 34 inches ultra ides. Availability alternatives incorporate DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 1.4, a USB-C port, an earphones jack, and double 7W integrated speakers. It's an ideal opportunity to conclusion. While the LG 34UM69G offers a charming for what it's worth, and gaming experience, we strongly suggest putting somewhat extra in one of the 144Hz models, for altogether smoother movement clearness. With regards to ordinary use, there are VA models that offer higher goal, and predominant difference proportion at essentially a similar cost. In this way, except if you run over a great arrangement for the LG 34UM69G, there are better alternatives out there at the cost. As the costs and accessibility of these ultra-wide monitors regularly vary, don't hesitate to leave us a remark underneath, in the event t. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. If you found the video helpful please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.